powdery mildew. Imagine stepping outside on a damp morning and you see a white, powdery coating covering your plants. This is powdery mildew, a mold that thrives in high humidity. It's typically found on leaves and stems, blocking sunlight and preventing the plant from growing properly. If left untreated, it can slowly weaken the plant, turning the leaves yellow and stunting its overall health. Black Mold One of the most feared types of mold is stachybo trees. This mold thrives in areas with water damage, often growing on wood, drywall, and carpet. It's black and slimy in appearance, and while it may seem like a harmless household nuisance, it produces mycotoxins that can cause serious health problems, especially respiratory issues like coughing, sneezing, and even fatigue. Aspergillus, a mold that comes in a wide range of colors, including green, yellow, and black. You're likely to find it growing on food, in damp places, or on decaying organic material. Some strains of Aspergillus, like Aspergillus flavus, can produce harmful toxins called aflatoxins, which can pose a serious health risk. Prolonged exposure can cause respiratory issues, so it's crucial to deal with it quickly when you spot it. Penicillium. Penicillium is a familiar mold that grows in damp places like basements, and it's often seen on spoiled food. While this mold is famous for producing the antibiotic penicillin, some strains of penicillium can cause health problems. It can lead to respiratory issues, allergic reactions, and even infections in people with weakened immune systems. It's important to address penicillium mold early, especially in areas where air quality is a concern. Cladosporium. Cladosporium is one of the most common molds found both indoors and outdoors. It can be found on decaying organic material, plants, and even in your air ducts. While not usually dangerous in small amounts, Cladosporium can trigger allergies and asthma, especially for those who are sensitive to mold. Alternaria. Alternaria is a mold that often shows up as velvety, dark patches on plants, fabrics, and even in damp indoor spaces like bathrooms or kitchens. It's a major allergen and can cause sneezing, coughing, and other respiratory issues, especially for those with asthma or existing lung conditions. If you're prone to allergies, Alternaria might be an unpleasant guest in your home during high humidity months. Aspergillus fumigatus. While Aspergillus fumigatus may look like any other mold, it's much more dangerous to those with weakened immune systems. Commonly found in decaying organic matter, on food and in damp environments, this mold can lead to respiratory issues and even fungal infections known as aspergillosis. Fusarium. Fusarium is a mold that thrives in soil, on plants, and in water-damaged materials. It often appears as a pink or white fuzzy growth. Fusarium is notorious for infecting crops, causing diseases like fusarium wilt, but it can also contaminate food like grains, creating a potential health risk if ingested. People with weakened immune systems are especially vulnerable, as fusarium can cause serious infections in the eyes, nails, and skin. Mucor. Mucor is a fast-growing mold that you'll often find on spoiled bread, fruit, or decaying organic material. While it's generally not harmful to healthy individuals, mucor can cause infections in people with weakened immune systems, leading to conditions like mucormycosis, which affects the sinuses, lungs, and even the brain.